Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will be showing you how to attach utilities to your energy stream while simulating in Aspen Hysis. So quickly, we will be moving over to the simulation environment. Now, before you start specifying utilities for your energy stream, the first thing you want to ensure is that your process has solved, all parts of your process are solved, especially the units that actually possess energy streams, right? You want to make sure they are solved and the heat duty has been calculated, then you now specify the utility. So now, uh, we have majorly we have two types of utilities we have the hot utilities and then the cold utilities right so the hot utilities provide heat right why the cold utilities provide cooler cooler temperatures for fluid right so depending on the function of that unit you would either have to specify a hot utility or a cold utility right so if you are simulating for example you are simulating a cooler you will need to specify a cold utility right but if you are specif if you are simulating a heater for example a heater you will specify a hot utility for that particular energy stream right so another thing you want to consider is the temperature difference of the inlet and outlet of that unit so if the temperature difference is not so high you may want to use a utility that does not give out so much heat while if it's very high if it's a very high temperature you may you may need to use a a utility that gives out high very amount very high amount of heat that has a probably a very high specific heat capacity right so we'll be looking into that in this particular tutorial now in this simulation we have like let me see we have like four energy streams we have four the first the second the third and the fourth now this is a this is a heater a heater a heater and then this is your condenser condenser energy stream right so the first three energy streams the first three energy streams are associated with heating with the heating of the fluid while the last one is associated with cooling or condensation right so this information will affect or determine the kind of utility that we use right so for this first energy stream the heater heated the fluid from from 14 degrees celsius 14.97 to 65 right so the heat change the heat change or the temperature change is not so high right so this would determine which of the utilities we are going to use so now if you want to specify utility for your energy stream you ensure that that energy stream has solved that's the first thing once it has solved you click on it and open it you double click on it and you open it then you will see a section that says utility type right this utility type has a drop down by the side so you just click on it and then you, you get the opportunity of choosing whichever utility you want to use whichever utility you want to use so for in this case i can just choose for example randomly i can choose maybe medium uh, medium pressure steam for example mp steam now immediately i click on mp steam you notice that the utility mass flow has been calculated right so now this mp steam is actually suitable for this particular energy stream 
and that's because the the uh, temperature difference across this particular unit that the energy stream is attached to is not very high right so if it's quite higher steam may not be suitable we may have to use either hot oil or the fired heat or very high temperature one of them that will be required for very high temperature changes right so that's it so now i've specified mp steam and then it has calculated the mass flow right so the mass flow is calculated based on the utility you choose if you change it let me see hot oil this one is 3.066 if you change it to hot oil for example you see so as i change it to hot oil the mass flow has changed so the mass flow is dependent on whichever utility you are using now if we go over to you can change it back to medium pressure medium pressure steam now let's try this other one this energy stream right here this one has a temperature difference of 400 that's over 200 from 175 to 400 175 to 400 that's over 200 degrees in temperature change now for this one for example if we use let's say we use um let me see okay it still works okay so now for this particular one because the temperature the temperature change is quite large from 175 to 400 175 to 400 degrees i would suggest the use of hot oil for this particular one because hot oil actually provides more heat than steam right so because the temperature difference is high i would specify either hot oil or this fired heat 1000 either hot oil or fired heat 1000 because of the high temperature difference right so that is why i'll specify or i would encourage you to use that then now let's go over to this um condenser the condenser uh energy stream now this this is where this video would actually come to an end now in this case if you specify um you specify steam let's say high pressure steam you would see that the utility mass flow will not be calculated right and this is because you are using the wrong utility in the wrong energy stream now this energy stream is a cooling energy stream and you cannot be using a hot utility here right so you use hot utilities in energy streams at associated with heating and you use cold utilities in energy streams associated with cooling right so in this kind of stream now you should be using a cooling utility right for example cooling water you see now when i change it to cooling water it calculates the mass flow but when i change it back to if i change it to hot oil for example it is not going to calculate the mass flow because the utility i specified is wrong right so because the utility is wrong it's not going to calculate mass flow so once you once you specify a particular utility in an energy stream and it doesn't calculate mass flow you know that that utility is not suitable for that particular energy stream right so you could choose any of the cooling utilities from you could even use air yes then you could use any of the refrigerants you see so what it means is that most likely the um first the initial the initial um utilities are the hot utilities then the ones that precede it or the ones that succeed them are the cold utilities so that's my guess that these first ones are the hot utility hot utilities and then the ones down are the cold utilities right so anytime you want to specify 
a utility for an energy stream first question you ask yourself is what is the purpose of that unit the unit that the energy stream is attached to once you are able to define whether it's a cooling or a heating unit then you can know which utility that will be best suitable for it whether it's a hot ut hot utility or a cold utility then you also consider the temperature difference between the inlet and the outlet right so that will also guide you in choosing a suitable utility for that particular energy stream and with this we have come to the we have come to the end of this particular lecture i hope you have gained some knowledge right if you have questions on this drop them in the comment section like this video and subscribe to this channel for more information on process simulation thank you and have a good day